All right, I'm happy to introduce you this morning to Czech Republic native Martina Kraus. Now, by trade, she is a personal trainer, but her first calling was actually classical guitar. She put away the talent for a couple of years, but fortunately for us here in the Keys, she's recently picked her gift back up. Martina, thank you so much for being with me today. You're welcome. All right, Martina, personal training and classical guitar, <laughs> two very, very different things, aren't they? They are, <laughs> but they were both my passions always. Okay. Uh, so guitar started first. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how old were you when you picked up your first guitar? Uh, I was about six years old. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing it ever since, ever since you I were was little. six. My okay. mom noticed that uh, I can hear music well. And one day I picked up a guitar as a six-year-old, and I was pretending I'm playing a song. My <laughs> mom thought that it actually sounded like like a song, so she signed me up uh, into music school for kids, and that's what I did. Off. And then ever since then, I, and then I continued conservatory of Prague. Mm -hmm. but where I graduated when I was about 21. Okay, so you always did music in mm -hmm. the Czech Republic. When did you move to the States, Martina? I was about 22. I went to Chicago, came here as an au pair. Mm -hmm. And did you play music when you came to uh, Chicago? Nope, Why? I did not. Why did you stop? I was focusing on learning English. Mm -hmm. uh, it was basically my main goal. I wanted to travel and learn about the United States. Mm -hmm. so, so I had to stop playing guitar and was focusing on other things. Did you even have the guitar with you when uh, you came? I did not. You didn't. So didn't you start missing it immediately? I started missing it. Every time I was at the mall, there was a music store, I would go in and just picked up, picked up one and just mm -hmm. play a little bit for fun. Mm -hmm. But you, didn't, then, you still didn't buy one or, no. or have it and, and get back into it full time. Now, Martina, when did you come to Key West? I came here about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And why Key West? Um, I have the same story just like everyone else. Came here as a tourist, loved the weather, ocean, mm -hmm. uh, the community, mm -hmm. the lifestyle uh, and here. you couldn't leave. Island, couldn't <laughs> leave. <laughs> All right, so you moved to Key West, then you got into personal training, Martina. Mm -hmm. But just recently, I understand that you decided to purchase a guitar and you decided to get back into it. Correct. Get back into mm -hmm. your music. So what made you finally decide to do that? Uh, it's like a drug. It's something that you love so much that you have to have it. Mm -hmm. uh, probably not a good example, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand. It was, uh, it was just, it's just like that just you oxygen needed. you needed every day. So I, I just started missing it so much that uh, I just wanted to play again. Mm -hmm. And now, Martina, you just had a concert here in Key West, mm -hmm. and this this wasn't just your first concert in the Keys, but it was your first concert in the States. So what was yes. it like to get back up there under the lights? It was very exciting. Um, it was, uh, you know, I was a little nervous, of course, but um, I was well prepared, and um, it was just great feeling to be on stage again. Mm -hmm. Now, the songs that you played were they your songs or are these cover songs that you play? What's your style? Uh, no, I did not compose any of them. Uh, they were they were pre-composed. I was playing some Bach. I was playing uh, some Carcassian Caroli. They're Italian um, composers, Bach is German, and then I played a lot of uh, Spanish composers, um, so like Hector Villalobos, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite composers, mm -hmm. so like you've a flamingo flavored music. So you've got this first concert under your belt, and I understand that you're going to do some more concerts, aren't I you? I would like to, yes. Yeah. Hopefully very soon then, because I, I unfortunately didn't get to be at your concert, but I hear it was a great success. And you it also, wasn't. you were joined by the Key West Contemporary Dance Company, mm -hmm. so that had to have been a little unique to have dancers dancing to your music. Uh, it was a different experience, yes. It was great that uh, people, besides just looking at performer, one performance stage, or listening to their music, they had something to look at, and it's just great art combination of classical guitar and the dance and they did amazing job with the choreography I thought. Great. I'm so, sure it was uh, a little challenging. Was very, I, I <laughs> believe it was very um, entertaining for people. Mm -hmm. But challenging. Very right? challenging for the dancers and for me because I knew they relied on every note that I play and the tempo had to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, again, you, you had a success with it because the response has been great. So I think it's wonderful that you were able to pick back up your passion, get back into music, and I really look forward to 
to hearing more of you in the future. I'm very happy about it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being on this morning. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and joining me today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care. If I